Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the dissertation conclusion. Your conclusion is the final piece of your dissertation, and it's where you'll summarize and reflect on all of the research you've conducted. In this video, we'll go over some tips and strategies for how to effectively summarize and reflect on your research findings. So let's get started. Your conclusion should accomplish three main things. It should summarize your research findings, it should reflect on the implications of your research, and it should suggest areas for future research. Essentially, your conclusion is your chance to wrap up everything you've been working on and tie it all together into a neat package. Tip number one, use clear and concise language. Your dissertation conclusion should be easy for your readers to understand. Avoid using overly technical jargon or convoluted sentences. Instead, use clear and concise language that gets straight to the point. Tip number two, summarize your key findings. In your conclusion, you should summarize the key findings of your research. This doesn't mean that you should simply restate everything you've already written. Rather, you should distill your findings down to their essence. Think about the main points you want your readers to take away from your research. Tip number three, reflect on the implications of your research. Your conclusion is also the place to reflect on the implications of your research. What do your findings mean for the field you're studying? What new insights have you gained? How might your research contribute to future work in this area? These are all important questions to consider as you write your conclusion. Tip number four, suggest areas for future research. Finally, you should suggest areas for future research in your conclusion. What questions have been left unanswered by your research? What new directions could future researchers take? This is an important opportunity to position your research in the context of ongoing work in your field. So there you have it, some tips and strategies for how to effectively summarize and reflect on your research findings in your dissertation conclusion. Remember, your conclusion is your chance to tie everything together and leave your readers with a clear understanding of what you've accomplished. With these strategies in mind, you'll be well on your way to crafting a strong dissertation conclusion. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out our next video if you want to learn how to finish your dissertation in six months or less.